to tell us about juice jacking, my friend? Yes. So uh, John writes in and says, I'd like to get your take on USB data blockers. Not necessarily the one shown below, but your comments on whether this is a valid issue. When I traveled, I hope I can again. <laughs> my VPN is almost always on, but I'm, am I still vulnerable to this juice hacking? Um, and it's also called juice jacking. So um, what is it, Dave? in that someone's offer, offers a free USB drive is one variation of this or a charging port, um, but has modified it to either steal data or install malware. Uh, um, the thing he's talking about is someone in theory, and I haven't heard of this happening in the wild, uh, whereas I have heard about other things like, you know, uh, credit card skimmers and all that. But um, so what the data blocker, uh, you may see a USB port and someone offers it as a free charging port, but um, the data lines are also hooked up. Um, and so what happens is when you plug into it, rather than just receiving power, because both power and data go through USB, um, they may try to get into your phone and steal your data or install malware. <clears throat> right. So what these data blockers do is they basically disable uh, those two pins. So the advice here could be don't use a strange free charger even in a a public place because somebody it, it wouldn't we I, I think you're like it, it, in in terms of like mitigating risk you are absolutely right. However, I think Apple kind of has our backs here because when I plug a new not a charging source, but or not a charging only source I should clarify. But when I plug a data source into my phone the phone asks me do you want to trust this device right and if so i i it, as long as you're running and i think this started in like ios 11 or something i i think apple has our backs on juice jackers so yeah